So here's a video of how to install a micro SD card inside of your dome camera. Here I have my uh, screws already loosened on the camera. Make sure you use the included Allen key tool. Do not use any other uh, screwdriver that is um, electronic, a drill, electronic screwdriver. Make sure it's a manual one. Unscrew the dome carefully not to damage the side of the dome. Lift it up and then here you will find your SD card holder. Uh, which I'm going to show you now how to install a micro SD card in it. This is what a micro SD card looks like. It's a fairly small SD card. It's not this big one. It's the small one in here. That's the micro SD. Please make sure you check the specifications of the camera you purchased as to how uh, large of a capacity it'll support. And there's a difference between micro SDs and micro XDs and etc. So you buy the appropriate capacity card. So here I have the dome cover open. What I'm gonna do is show you that the SD card should be going this way. The gold pins should be facing this side where these pins are. So when you get it, and this is the first time you're installing an SD card, you want to push it in a little bit and then lift the cap back up. Sometimes this may become loose, so just be careful. Uh, if you are using the PTZ or your dome camera uh, that has a SD card input slot like that, the little connections here might actually bend and come off the whole contraption. So when you put in your SD card, there's gonna be a little notch. Make sure the notch aligns with the slot here and it sits deep into it. Once you have that, you want to close this clamshell design up on it, press down and then push the other way. I actually was pressing down and then pushing this way to actually secure the SD card inside and now this is flat. It's not sitting flat, you're going to have to open it again. So to open it, I have to push towards myself and a click basically tells me it's unlocked and then open the clamshell and then take out the SD card. That's how easy it is, just be very careful not to uh, do this while the camera's on. The camera has to be powered off, see my camera's disconnected has to be done completely powered off with no residual power in there.